This is the 15th Fleet Code Challenge, and it is called Threesome. Given an integer array nums, return all the triplets, nums i, nums j, nums k, such that i does not equal j, i does not equal k, and j does not equal k, and nums i plus j plus k equals zero. Okay, so if we have nums like this, negative one, zero, one, two, negative one, negative four, we are to return all instances where, that when they are added together, they equal zero. Although it did just say does not equal, but these two are equal. Okay, well anyway, let's look at this. So explanation, num zero plus nums one plus nums two equals negative one. So these three equal zero. Okay, so it's talking about the actual index number. Right, so it has to be a unique number within the array. You can't reuse a number. Okay, that makes sense. So then this one's one, two, four, which is zero plus one plus negative one zero okay so in this example we have a duplicate here so it's the three same numbers so that doesn't count this one doesn't return anything and in this example it returns the exact same okay so this will be an interesting one to work on but let's give it a go so I'll go set up the project now okay so the project is all set up so let's get started so we'll start off with creating the output which is list list and that will return that I think the first thing we want to do is sort the array because this will help us in figuring out what the next number should be that we want to look at. Okay, so we'll start off with 4 and i equals 0. Uh, length less than 2 because we're working with three numbers and i++. plus plus. So this will be the very first number, so the smallest number. So we start off with the first number. And as this is the smallest, we'll probably go to the largest. Okay, so we'll do int low equals i plus 1. And then we'll do int high equals nums dot length minus 1. We'll use this for the indexes. And what we want to do, so we've got i, then low and high. And so we sum those together. If the number is greater than zero, we want to use a smaller number, so that will reduce. The number is less than zero, we'll increase. So we'll increase the indexes of low and high, and doing a sum with nums. Okay, so firstly, we'll int sum equals nums i plus nums low plus nums high. And I guess straight away, if sum equals zero, I'll put add new list. So this will be just these three numbers again, like so. That'll be added to the list. All right, something I forgot. So while low is less than high, because so we're going to be changing these. So we need to do that inside of here. So we keep doing it until they meet. So yeah, we'll do that. And we'll chuck that into here. So we sum them up. If it equals zero, we add it to the list. Else, if sum is less than zero, this will be low plus plus. Then else, high minus minus. So we're handling if it's less than or higher than. But we also need to do some stuff in here for changing the low and high. So we also want to check for duplicates. So while nums low equals nums low plus one, we'll do nums, we'll do low plus plus, and we'll do the same thing again while high. Oh, actually, something else you can do if i greater than one and nums i equals nums i minus oh, nums i minus one we'll continue because then we'll be doing all the exact same number checks again is that correct so i not yeah, it was correct so we do that so well nums well that's equal and we still need to check for low it's less than high for both of them okay we'll be high plus plus. so let's look at this for example so this will get sorted, it'll be negative one, negative one, two. Okay, so then that would be correct 
it would check to see if one above this is the same, which will be zero, so it's wrong. I'll check to see if one below this is one, which is wrong. So it will then just continue. Ah, we also need to do, oh, this was, this needs to be minus minus. We also need to do low plus plus and high minus minus. Because if we don't change it, because if we keep low the same, then we're expecting the same high number, but we've already done that, so we need to change both of them. Well, this one would be easy. Oh, this one, actually, that would be wrong. That would be just... Oh, we may as well run this to see if it's working, I guess. Okay, let's run it. Index outside the bounds. Ah, this is meant to be minus one. Okay, let's run it. Okay, so output, so that's the first one. Should be this one. So negative one, negative two. Uh, yep. Okay, that's correct. So the next one should be an empty. Which it is. And then the last one should be zero, zero, zero. Okay, index outside. So low is... Okay, I'm not sure how that happened. It shouldn't have been able to get to here and be outside the bounds. Okay, we're going to break point until that last one and see what happened. So not this one, not this one, this one. Let's go step by step, see if it, what happened. So what we want, we will watch I, low, high. One, two, yep, so that's all good. Right, we also want to sum. If zero, we have the numbers in. Nums low, so that should be all fine. Ah, the order of this needs to be the other way around. Because it's doing plus plus, making it the same value as high, but the high is at the very end. So we need to switch this around. And same thing here. Okay, now look, we'll run it. Uh, so autos, output, that's the same. Nothing there, which is expected, and all zeros. Okay, so we will copy this code. We will put it into leak code, and we will submit and see if that's all good. Okay, it gave the wrong answer. Right, I'm forgetting to check if uh, it already exists. So if sum equals zero, we will go for each bar num list and output if num list zero equals nums i actually we'll do we'll do num list and this will just be n list so we'll create this here and then we'll do equals zero like this so if every single number in it is a match and because we sorted it, we know that it will be in this position. So we know the smallest will be here, then one above, then one above. Okay, what are we looking for? So we, we, if it is a match, okay, we want bool exists equals false. So if it does exist, exists equals true, break. If not exists, then we add output add num list. So that should be everything. So we will copy this back up and we will put it in leak code and submit okay so there we go that is the 15th challenge on leak code called threesome if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe